Welcome back. So now that we have four different chatbot application types, you need to separate each one in a different project folder because each one is different in terms of the objective. So for example, the first application type, which is just to let the user start the conversation and the user will just ask the chatbot several questions and might type different things. This type has its functions and you can just take its functions and its arrays and variables and add them in a different and separate folder. So we have the array of possible messages. You can take this and you can also take its function, which is the process message and add them in a different folder. And there are, by the way, there are common functions such as the send message, the chatbot send message. You need to add these in all your in all of your projects. So that way you will have four different chatbot applications and you can employ them in your websites or as separate applications.